Speaking of some of those young athletes when it comes to the WCRA and the division youth, one of them joins me right now. In fact, he's young, 13 years old. He's from Missouri. Bronk Evans joins me on the show. Bronk, thanks for joining me here on Western Sports Roundup. Yes, thanks for inviting me. Well, heck yeah, I'm glad to get to visit with you a little bit and glad to get to know you. I actually want to start this off by saying that you and I were visiting right before this interview, and I was worried that we might be missing out on some school activities today, but you told me, ah, oh, don't worry about it, I'm homeschooled. But I do want to bring that up because that helps you get to more rodeos, doesn't it, being able to be homeschooled? Yes, sir. So it's nice all the time, but especially in the month of December because... I do the majority of my school on the road or in the truck or going to the next rodeo. Well, heck, that's all just part of learning right there, rodeoing and getting your schooling done all at the same time. Well, we obviously want to focus on everything going on with the WCRA and the Division Youth, that huge rodeo that's going to take place later on this summer in July uh, up at Guthrie, Oklahoma at the Lazy E. You've actually been there before. In fact, not only are you leading the all-around right now this year uh, with all the team roping that you've been doing, but you went last year, last summer, uh, where they paid out over $400,000. Kind of tell me real quick how it went last year for you yes sir so last year i uh, turned 13 in may and the cutoff is in june so i only had like two and a half or three weeks to get seated into the standings and then i went ahead and roped in the qualifying rounds and me and my partner were fortunate enough to win the qualifying rounds and make it all the way to the final round and actually place third Man, that sounds good. What do you? Is there anything you're going to try to do different this year? Because obviously you're going to get a chance to go back with you being in that number one spot right now. Are you going to change things up any? Or are you going to keep it like you did last year? What's your plan of attack when you get up there later on this summer? Yes, sir. I definitely think it is an advantage for me to have been there. And I think that it's a huge advantage for you to nominate your rodeos and get seated into the top 16 because you get a jump on all them people trying to qualify in the qualifying rounds and that is something that I made up my mind last year and I decided I'm going to get seated and get early on and try to get higher up in the standings. Boy, that sounds like a good plan to me. Now, I want to ask you something, one other thing, too, Bronk, before I let you go. If there's a young man or a woman that might be watching this show right now, roughly around the same age as you, that's like, hey, I think I want to check that out. Tell them why it's fun. Tell them why you enjoy it. I know winning the money, that's the, that's the great stuff, but tell them why it could be fun for them to show up at the Lazy Arena in July at the WCRA Division Youth. Well, there's so many things going on with ro youth rodeo right now. It's growing so much. And with the WCRA, I feel like that's really helping a lot of kids get into the sport of rodeo and helping the next generation. Man, Bronk, what an awesome answer. I think that is perfect. They need to be playing that all over the WCRA. That is for sure. Bronk, not only congratulations on the year that you're already having, good luck when you get up there in July at the Lazy Arena, of course, at the big uh, world championships with the WCRA. And thanks for joining us here on the show. Thanks for having me. And thanks to all my sponsors to keep me going down the road. Yeah, you can't do it without him, that's for sure. Bronk Evans, 13 years old, joining us here on Western Sports Roundup.